Hi, I'm Ashley. We're here at Asterm. I'm a product specialist here, a hairdresser and a makeup artist, and I'm going to help you achieve a dead look for Halloween. So I'm just going to fill you guys in on what I've already done. I use my favorite primer by IPKN. It's a gel primer, helps control oil, helps your makeup stay all day, fills in your pores. It's awesome. So I already have that on my face and I let that sit in for a second. I'm going to use my Michael Marcus palette. It's got cake eyeliner, blush, eyeshadows. I got my dark purples, my black, and my browns, which you're gonna need for this look. Then I'm also gonna mix it with a cream base, just makeup that I got from the Halloween store, mixed with a oil base that I got from the Halloween store, just your regular cheap makeup. I have a gray, a purple, a red, and a black. So using my eyeliner brush, I already applied my cake eyeliner. That way I don't have to pull on my eye when I already have the cake makeup on. All right, so for the face, I'm gonna apply using a sponge and we're gonna do a padding motion. That way it's gonna give you that ghostly look. So I'm just gonna apply it right onto the sponge. and using a padding motion. You're gonna wanna leave the eye area because that's where we're going to put our shadows. And you're just going to continue patting around. Now for contouring purposes, I'm going to put a little bit more on the top of my cheeks and blend that in. Now, because I'm gonna use a shadow as a lipstick, I'm also gonna apply some of the cream onto my lips. And that you can just rub in. You can choose to bring it down. I just put a little bit under my chin to kind of blend it in, but I left it a little bit lighter so that I didn't have to completely cover my neck. Just kind of working my way up. Right now I'm just using a circular motion just to cover some more area quicker. And I'm going to go right into the bridge of my nose. And I'm going to go a little lower with my purple eyeshadow. What we're going to do is we'll blend on top of that so that they fade in together. Next, I'm going to use my brown, and that's going to help the blend the colors in. Oh, 
All right. So even with this look, there is shadowing and contour. So what I'm going to do is take just a regular shadow brush and a dark brown, and I'm going to apply it into the shadows. Take a blending brush to blend it over. Crease through your lips. And then what I did next was I took another blending brush did fish kisses contoured my cheeks You can take your blending brush and blend that line right in. Some of the white will come off and that's okay. You can always reapply that. You'll have some makeup left on your sponge. Now I also went and did this all along my entire face. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed my video. For Halloween, we're actually going to discount the Michael Marcus palette that I use to help create your look. And don't forget to tag us at Ask Derm for all your Halloween looks. Happy Halloween.